Happy New Year, everyone. I thought what we would do over the course of this coming year is to send you video message telling you about what we propose to do and what we have done. I'd like to start off by telling you this year uh, we've been invited by the Ontario Standing Committee on Finance and Economic Affairs for pre-budget consultations. It's, we feel it's our role to advise the government on the best way to make investments towards infrastructure. Ontario has an infrastructure deficit and we are best positioned to make a contribution. During our deputation to the committee, we focus on four points. The first point is the importance of planning. I often say to government that CEO does not believe in long-term investment. We believe in investment as a result of long-term planning. We are driven by our strategic plan. We believe that the government should be driven by their strategic plan with respect to infrastructure planning and investment. The second point is related to what we call dedicated revenue streams. It's one thing to talk about raising revenues for infrastructure investment. It's another thing to commit to the fact that those revenues will be used for infrastructure investment. If, for example, we talk about water, if we're going to get involved in full cost water pricing at the municipal level, we must ensure that the revenues that are raised for water are dedicated to water. And this is a general comment that we focused on during the deputation to the committee. The third point that we stressed at the committee was around AFPs, alternative financing and procurement methods used by the government, P3s. We stress that P3s are a suite of solutions, but they are not a panacea. And the decision as to which financing method is used for infrastructure project should be based on a standardized criteria, standardized decision-making criteria, and that should incorporate success metrics. What does success look like and how do we measure the extent to which we've achieved success? Finally, we stress to the committee that a focus on core infrastructure would be an important catalyst to economic activity and growth. For both vertical and horizontal infrastructure, we need to not only focus on capital projects, but the $100 billion infrastructure deficit that exists in this province. And if you're interested in reading the brief that was submitted to committee, you can find it on the CEO website. Upcoming videos will concentrate on our client relations, business risk, contract language, indemnification, uh, similar kinds of areas. So I look forward to speaking to you in upcoming videos. Once again, Happy New Year.